So in this quick video, what I'm going to be showing you is how to configure ne your network adapter. And so we're going to start by right-clicking our network adapter and going to Open in Network Sharing. And then we're going to click on Change Adapter Settings. And in my particular case, I'm using a laptop on this computer, so I'm going to be using the wireless network connection. But you can do the same thing for your local area connection if you're using a desktop computer. And what we're going to do is we're going to right-click that and click on Properties. And this is going to come up. Now, clients for Microsoft networking, this is simply uh, a method of uh, using your local area network for finding other computers. Uh, so I'm going to uncheck that. I'm not doing any file and print sharing, so I can uncheck that. Um, my internet service provider doesn't utilize IPv6 protocol at this point in time, so I'm going to uncheck that. And the link layer topology discovery mapper input output driver is uh, more of publishing the resources of this computer to my local area network, and I don't need those either. So I'm going to be going to TCP IPv4, and I'm going to click on the properties button. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be uh, setting up a secure DNS server. Um, I connect to a secure DNS server rather than my internet service provider's DNS addresses. And uh, really there's a lot of other DNS uh, uh, servers you can connect to, for example, Google or uh, many others. And it's simply just a method of resolving host names. Um, and again, uh, I'd prefer to connect to a secure one when I know I cannot be uh, intercepted on, such as um, uh, Google or any of the others out there. So there we go. So we got uh, secure server addresses inputted. Now I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to set up the WINS tab. I'm just going to disable my NetBIOS over TCP IP. I've already disabled the service in my previous video, but uh, I just prefer to have all the configuration settings off as well. And there we are. Now, uh, obtaining my IP address automatically, my router is going to automatically provide me with my IP address, subnet, mask, and default gateway, so I don't have to really worry about that. And as this is my only computer, I don't need to assign a static IP address. If I wanted to, I could click on that and assign myself any IP address in the local area network that I wanted to. But uh, as that's not an issue at this point in time, I'm just going to leave it as uh, IP uh, address automatic. And click OK. And then click Close and close this window and now you'll see here when I enable my Wi-Fi it's automatically going to connect to my router and then I can click on my browser button and I can go to any address I really want to here I'm just gonna go to msn.com and there we go see it's all on and going and what this has done is this has successfully limited how many connections uh, are listening on my local area network even though um, uh, the only connections I really need to make are to my router for internet purposes. And there we are. And that's our quick uh, tutorial on how to configure your network adapter efficiently. Thanks for watching.